a skincare routine that actually works for hyperpigmentation by layering actives the right way and actually protecting your face. Because yes, you know we're gonna be talking about the sun. Many people struggle with hyperpigmentation, but a lot of people don't realize there are different types of hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation prone skin can be thought of as skin that is easily offended. Basically, if you do too much to it, it can get angry and irritated and react by creating more of this pigment. If you go in the sun, if you do the lip wax, you, you get the picture. And yes, that sometimes includes microneedling or going too harsh with retinoids. And a lot of people try to mix their actives or add like a brightening serum. But if you're using it with other products that actually stop it from working, you're wasting your money and you're not getting the benefits. So let's talk about layering hyperpigmentation products the right way. And yes, I have built you a routine that works not only for hyperpigmentation, but that is acne safe as well. And yes, we have a morning routine and an evening routine. And of course it contains sunscreens and a couple of other little actives. And the most important thing to understand when it comes to hyperpigmentation is what causes it. And frustratingly enough, there can be many different reasons. Hyperpigmentation is the unusual pigmentation in skin. It means it's different from the rest of the skin. We all have melanin. This is the pigment that naturally makes our skin its color. But when that pigment gets deposited unevenly, that's what hyperpigmentation is. And again, this pigment is created in a specific cell called the melanocyte, and it is actually given and shared to other skin cells, such as keratinocytes. It kind of sits on top of them like a cute little umbrella and it actually protects them from the sun. Because yes, when you go out in the summer, if you're someone who tans, that tan is actually melanin or this pigment being created in your skin through tyrosinase pathways. So what actually causes hyperpigmentation other than sun exposure? Well, if you get wounded, if you have an acne pimple or a mark, if you even wax your upper lip, we see some people who actually have a lip mustache because of hyperpigmentation and there are pregnancy masks, such as a pregnancy melasma mask that can happen from hormonal changes. Now, if you've got a medical hyperpigmentation problem, this isn't gonna be it. You should be seeing a doctor, making sure hormones are in check, etc. However, if you struggle with hyperpigmentation, especially after breakout, this is a great routine to start with and the science behind why it actually works. Before you even pick up the cleanser, we have to talk about sunscreen because if there is one thing you take from this, know that the majority of hyperpigmentation is caused or worsened by UV light. Yes, those ultraviolet rays that love to just damage our skin cells, they're mainly responsible for hyperpigmentation. A lot of these companies are gonna try to sell you this BS about like, oh, you know, this blue light is damaging your skin. Maybe very high intensity visible blue light can damage skin in certain people who are a four, five, or six on the Fitzpatrick scale, but the amount of visible light that's hitting the skin compared to the UV light that we know does so much damage is negligible. So if there's one thing you take from this, it's to find a sunscreen that actually works for you. And bonus, if you can find a sunscreen that also helps to fight hyperpigmentation through ingredients like niacinamide and vitamin C, which we are going to talk about. This one is from Mega Shade from Zitstika. I tried their lab samples and I featured them in a video. So they decided to partner with us on this one. But as always, I'm going to give you the facts. And I was gonna say that I would give it to you straight, but like the only thing straight about me is my hair and even that's curly. So let's talk about a morning routine for hyperpigmentation people who maybe also possibly struggle with acne. <laughs> you know that every good skincare routine starts with a cleanser, but we don't want a cleanser that is overly stripping or irritating to skin. Again, hyperpigmentation prone skin is easily offended and we don't need that here. A really good cleanser to look for is something that has a ton of antioxidants. These can fight free radical oxygen species and a cleanser is something that's on your face for a minute to three minutes. So it's not doing a ton of stuff. But while it's there, you want it penetrating, working around to do what it can, but not making issues worse. This one is from Youth to the People. It is the Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. It's a little glass bottle of greatness. And I was gonna say, that it smells like a wheatgrass shot, but I, it's been like eight years since I've had a wheatgrass shot, so I don't actually remember what those smell like. I assume this smells, I mean, it smells very green. It smells grassy. Grassy is the right word. <laughs> this is a really nice non-stripping cleanser. It does have panthenol, those B vitamins for soothing. It does have lots of vitamin C ingredients and green tea. All of this can really help to kind of combat that damage that comes from, you know, just living, going outside, sitting in front of a window. You know, it sucks, but a really good cleanser to introduce your routine to 
to the day or to the evening if you're going to bed. Um, this is a great one for those who are prone to hyperpigmentation. Another really good option would be um, the Jumiso vitamin C if you want something that's a little bit more budget friendly. That one comes in a pretty large container. It's got vitamin C and soothing ingredients. It's good. And the main thing to remember is that vitamin C is excellent for hyperpigmentation. It stops this tyrosinase enzyme from allowing melanin, the pigment, to be created. So if you put vitamin C in there, it can kind of help block this process of creating pigment from even happening. The only thing you have to remember is that there are things that deactivate vitamin C. So for people who have acne and hyperpigmentation, I see a lot of people using like benzoyl peroxide and vitamin C products. You're making both of them useless. They're attacking each other instead of doing what they need to on your skin. So don't listen to the beauty magazines or the celebrities or the bad advice that says mix your peroxides with your vitamin C. Make sure that you are layering your things appropriately. And speaking of the next layer, let's talk about toners and essences because do you need them? No, technically not. But if you want to use them, I do have one for you. This is the Superoxide Dismutase Saccharide Mist. And if you want a toner that actually has benefits, I don't see enough people speaking about this for hyperpigmentation, but derms agree. Now, Superoxide Dismutase is an enzyme, and you can tell that because the end is ACE, A-S-E, which is how we name enzymes. But the cool thing about this is that there was actually a study that was done on mice, and it showed that Superoxide Dismutase might have some anti-pigmentation ability for those who are struggling with pigmentation and melanin formation, specifically from UV rays. Research done in Korea back in 2014 found that superoxide dismutase 1 inhibited alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone and ultraviolet beta induced melangiogenesis in murine skin. Basically, that's some big fancy word talk for superoxide dismutase 1 might help to stop the production of pigment in skin. They were saying in the research that it could be used as like a sunscreen ingredient. Cool. Now, is this gonna replace your sunscreen? Absolutely not. Again, is a toner even necessary in your routine? Meh, not exactly. But if you want to use something, this is a great antioxidant, a great enzyme. It works well with the other ingredients in this routine. And if you want to layer up or spray things down because it's summer and it's hot, and maybe you live in the Bay Area where everything is on fire and it's 105 degrees, this is a great choice. A lot of other people don't know that Nyad is basically the ordinary's intelligent, skin intellectual PhD big sister because this brand is related to the ordinary. But that, my dear, is a topic for another day. Then we're going to get into the juicy topics that everybody wants to talk about, which is vitamin C and specifically a dupe for the SkinCeuticals vitamin C E for Rulix. So vitamin C is awesome for brightening the skin, for stopping pigment formation. If you're looking at non-prescription ingredients, vitamin C really is the way to go. And the the SkinCeuticals one is created by L'Oreal. It's a hundred something ridiculous dollars. It's a lot of money. So is this one, but we have a less expensive alternative too. But vitamin C is an amazing ingredient and there's a lot of research behind how it works, especially when combined with ferulic acid. But SkinCeuticals is not cruelty free. Guess what I found? A cruelty-free dupe actually created by a doctor, Paracone MD to be exact, and this has a triple C plus ferulic acid brightening complex at 20%. This is amazing, and it comes out this milky color, and this smooths onto skin so well. It definitely has a scent, and even the um, skin SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic smells like hot dog water, but if you are looking for a potent, stabilized, cruelty-free vitamin C that does the work, boy, this is it. Now, this is still a pretty penny. It's like 160 bucks. Is it worth it? Yes, every drop. But based on this price, I consider this luxury and you should not have to have $160 to treat hyperpigmentation. So if you have the money and if you want what I consider the best of the best, it has the science to back it up. It's an esterified vitamin C. So it's a vitamin C ester. So it's less irritating to skin. It penetrates deeper. It's just, this is amazing. But if you don't want to spend that kind of money, I don't blame you. There's also this one from The Ordinary. This is the Ascorbyl Tetraisopalmitate Solution 20% in vitamin F. So it's not exactly the same. There are definitely benefits that this has and even the CE Ferulic has that this one doesn't. But if you're looking for a really good vitamin C formula that also has vitamin F, this is a great one to use. This can be used during the day or the night. It is super potent. And what's great is that both of these vitamin Cs go on nicely under sunscreen. This one is a little bit more of a slow drying liquid from the ordinary, whereas the Paracone MD is more of a creamy serum that really just absorbs so well. And either one of these is going to be a good choice. Now, this one from the ordinary, I do find this vitamin C to be a little bit more irritating. The esterified version is really great if you do have sensitive skin, but if you're struggling with hyperpigmentation or even acne blemishes, <laughs> either of these vitamin C powerhouses are going to be amazing. And 
10 out of 10, if there is any product in this routine that you walk away with other than the sunscreen, this step would be the second most important, the second most vital. So you've put your vitamin C serum on. It's nice, it's soaked in. We do have another option, which is the Alpha Arbutin Serum. Alpha Arbutin is a derivative of hydroquinone, which we know is amazing and can be medically prescribed for those who want help with hyperpigmentation. It's more of a gentle version. And yes, it acts as an antioxidant, but it also, again, kind of stops that pathway of pigment being able to be created. Alpha Arbutin works by inhibiting tyrosinase activity, tyrosinase, that enzyme that's needed to create pigmentation. And this is a really powerful one. It's basically kind of the step down from hydroquinone. And again, it is related. This one from the Inky List is really inexpensive and effective. You can use this day or night, but this is a fantastic serum that you can use in addition to vitamin C or in place of it. If you want a morning moisturizer, I'm including one, but if you're using these products, especially this vitamin C and the sunscreen that we're about to talk about, I don't feel like you really need a moisturizer. This sunscreen is super skin supporting and skin hydrating, which we'll talk about. But just because I know there are some people who have much drier skin or really just want that extra layer of barrier support, this one from Skin Fix is amazing. Skin Fix is a Canadian brand. This is the Barrier Plus Lipid Boost Jelly. This is really light on the skin. It's like a nice serum texture, so it doesn't ball up with any of these other ingredients. And it contains ingredients that actually support the skin's barrier, but there's nothing in here that's going to inhibit, you know, the effects of vitamin C, or there's nothing that's going to contradict, you know, the work that Alpha Arbutin does in the skin. It's also lightweight, so it layers nicely, but whether or not you use this, you know you can't leave the house without using a sunscreen. Who is she? She's SPF. You're what? You're BFF, of course. Literally your skin's best friend. And again, if there is one product in this entire routine to help with hyperpigmentation, this is going to be it. Now, any sunscreen can help with hyperpigmentation, but what makes this different is that this actually has ingredients such as niacinamide and vitamin C that actually fight against hyperpigmentation. This is the Mega Shade Serum Sunscreen from Zitsticka, and my acne prone skin freaking loves this. It is a really nice, lightweight, layerable formula that again, you can use under makeup, you know, over a moisturizer or even without a moisturizer. It's a completely sheer formula, so no matter what skin tone or color you have, there is absolutely no flashback. And again, some of my favorite components of this are the other ingredients. Ingredients. Usually when we see sunscreens, they're in these greasy lotions and all they do is protect you from the sun, but this actually has ingredients that can help with hyperpigmentation on top of the sunscreen benefits. This has cockadoo plum. Is it cockadoo? 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 Cockadoodle doo. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it has cockadoodle doo plum <laughs> and it actually has a high amount of vitamin C because of it. We've already spoken about the benefits of vitamin C for hyperpigmentation, but vitamin C can also add a boost to sunscreen. It's not a replacement for sunscreen, but but it can make the sunscreen more effective for a longer period of time and again, help with supporting the skin. This also has niacinamide, which we know and love for its oil control properties, but niacinamide also helps with pigmentation, specifically hyperpigmentation. Niacinamide, or this vitamin B3, doesn't stop the pigmentation from being created, but it stops it from spreading. So if your skin has created some unusual pigment, niacinamide says, nah. It's an SPF 50 and it's dermatologically formulated, so derms actually helped with the formation of this, and they say that it's safe for acne prone skin, and I can contest to that. And even if you're just someone who gets those dark marks that are left behind after acne spots and pimples, holy shit, this is it. This is going to stop them from setting in. It's going to fight the hyperpigmentation at its source. They call it a serum sunscreen, and I'm like, bruh, aren't most sunscreens kind of a serum? I get that some of them are lotions, but this is a really lightweight texture. You can wear it as a primer or under makeup, and I have been wearing it and loving it all summer. Now you know that you're supposed to reapply your sunscreen throughout the day, so please carry a bottle of this with you. But if you wanted something that's good for on the go, this is something that I am trying out. It's from Common Air. And the coolest thing about this, they're 10% vitamin C serum capsule things. The entire package and everything about the brand is completely plastic free. These little vitamin C capsules are completely biodegradable. And if you just wanted to take a couple of these with you on the go, you totally can. There are some vitamin C capsules from Beauty Pie that I love, but these are actually less grainy. They feel a little bit smoother on the skin. And yes, they still satisfy my pimple popping addiction. <laughs> these are so fun. And again, because they're biodegradable, you could literally put the little capsule remnants just in some water and literally watch it biodegrade. It is so cool. I absolutely love these. And if you're looking for something that you can reapply throughout the day, because if you're reapplying your sunscreen anyways, and you're like, ah, I wanna reapply my vitamin C, this is it. You put it in your pocket. You can even, 
I'm not gonna do it. But you could even store it in your nostril. Don't store it in your nostril. Now for those whose hyperpigmentation isn't as localized and maybe you just have a piece or a patch of hyperpigmentation, especially if it is after a breakout, the Zitsticka Hypershade is basically the hyperpigmentation version of my favorite pimple patches. The Killa patches as well as these are these little micro darts. So they're basically these tiny patches of protective goodness that have little hyaluronic acid and active filled micro darts. They're not needles, but micro darts that penetrate into the skin. They dissolve over two hours and they help with hyperpigmentation. Now, what's different about this is that you don't wanna apply this over an active zit. If you have a zit, make sure that you're using the Killa patches because that's what those are for. But this is the same micro dart technology of delivering those ingredients into the skin and holy sh if you had a pimple that has now left behind a dark purple or red mark, this works for PIH, this works for PIE. You put this where that pimple was and it will look like Phantom of the Opera. It was never there. It just, it was, it was gone. It wasn't there. These patches single-handedly contain pretty much every single anti-hyperpigmentation ingredient that has been medically proven to work. We've got ascorbic acid, which is our vitamin C. We've got our arbutin, which we just spoke about. We've got kojic acid, which we know is helpful. We've got licorice root extract, which has been shown in many studies to help with hyperpigmentation. And we've also got tranexamic acid, which is also in this routine in the evening. But holy shit, if you want just all of the best anti-hyperpigmentation ingredients put in one little patch that you can put Put where that little pimple left its mark, this is it. Not to mention these little pimple patches are very fun. Put them on clean skin, make sure there's not a bunch of other stuff on there. But you know, while you are capsule squeezing, you can also be dark spot pimple patching. <laughs> so now it's nighttime. You have lived your day, you have reapplied that SPF, your BFF, and it is time to remove the day. Is there a good makeup cleansing oil or balm that actually works that doesn't aggravate or irritate skin? Yes. And this one actually has some ingredients that are helpful for hyperpigmentation, such as sea buckthorn oil. This is from the Inky List, and I have to say, this is probably one of the coolest products I've ever used to remove my makeup. Just got a new one, but this is the Oil and Water Double Cleanser. It's a dual face cleanser, and do you see how it kind of separates out? It is absolutely freaking gorgeous, and this removes makeup like nothing else. Is this alone going to treat hyperpigmentation? Absolutely not. But this does have sea buckthorn in here, and sea buckthorn has an amazing amount of vitamin C, which we know can help. So so ready, watch this as I shake it. Isn't that so pretty? So it's pretty, it's fun to use, it's effective, it's non-irritating, and it has beneficial ingredients. If you're looking for a makeup remover that works for hyperpigmentation prone skin or just gets makeup off in general, it doesn't matter who you are, this one is so good and this is so fun. I love it. And as we approach autumn and Halloween season, this is just an entire mood. Like this is just, can this be my Halloween decoration? <gasps> what if I dressed up as this? for Halloween. Is that taking it too far? Maybe, but do I always take it too far? Maybe. Similar to the morning, you wanna go back in with a normal cleanser because again, a good double cleanse consists of something to remove the makeup and then something to cleanse the skin. Especially at night, this cleanser from Youth to the People is going to be a great one. All of those antioxidants help to get the day off and help to make sure that any oily residue from this is not left behind. Similar to the morning, if you want to spray yourself with a little super oxide dismutase, you can be super awesome and dish this on your face, but is it absolutely necessary? No. Nah. You don't have to. Where things really get interesting is with the evening actives. We are talking prescriptions, we are talking retinoids, and we are talking hydroquinone. Because yes, I found a way to get it for you. <laughs> Let's first start by talking about tranexamic acid. A lot of people don't know tranexamic acid is a medication that is used orally or in the body for many different reasons. You got a gunshot wound, if you've got traumatic brain injury, if you have severe hemorrhaging, you might come to the ER and get some tranexamic acid. If you have severe menstrual bleeding, you might get some tranexamic acid. But tranexamic acid has been put into a lot of different skincare products and it's shown to help with pigmentation and even kind of rejuvenating and brightening the skin when applied directly onto the face. There have been a lot of studies in Asia on tranexamic acid, and is there the most? Absolutely no. There's obviously more information on when it's taken orally or when it's injected, but in my opinion and experience, it is a really good ingredient to look for. So here are two different options. One is prescription, but if you don't want the prescription or can't get it, there's also one that is over the counter. This is one from Good Molecules. This is the Discoloration Correcting Serum, and this contains Tetraceutic TX Vector, which is a patented form of tranexamic acid 
acid that is supposed to penetrate deeper and be a little bit less irritating and more stable. This enhanced penetration version of tranexamic acid seems interesting, but what I also love about this is that it contains more of that niacinamide. And for evening, this is a fantastic formula. If you want something that is gentle on the skin, it is non-offensive, so there aren't any majorly harsh actives in here that could cause the skin to do a 180. And you're looking for something that does have those benefits in a nice night serum, holy guacamole, this is it. Or should I say holy good molecules? Cause damn, these molecules treat your pores and your melanocytes right. Like, you know, the date that not only brings flowers, but also opens the car door and then makes sure that your dress doesn't get caught, you know, on your heels or anywhere else. It's like that, but skincare version. They respect your boundaries and they text back. Good molecules took me way too long to discover. And again, if you're looking for an inexpensive, affordable, but effective option, this is it. Now, what if you do want something a little more potent? You want something a little more prescription. This is currently in my skincare routine and you would want to be careful. Again, this is why it's prescription. You wanna make sure that a doctor prescribes it to you and trains you on how to use it for your skin. But this is a prescription night serum for me that contains 5% tranexamic acid, as well as 0.0. 0.018% of my tretinoin, aka Retin-A. Now, obviously, this is potent. The Retin-A in here, there's not a ton, but it is still Retin-A, which is the most bioavailable form. And again, because this is prescription, you have to use it with caution. This one is from Apostrophe. I freaking love them. This one was custom customized to me. And again, if you get a prescription formula, obviously a dermatologist, an apostrophe dermatologist, or anyone else, any prescribing physician is going to make sure that you are getting something that's right for you and knows what you need. Now, know that this is available. I'm pretty sure that Apostrophe is the only online pharmacy that actually combines tranexamic acids, spironolactone, and tretinoin. But if you have acne and hyperpigmentation, this is a must have. And this is a much higher, more elevated version than this because it contains that 5% tranexamic acid as well as a retinoid. Now let's talk about retinol for a second because retinoids, we know those from acne, we know those from anti-aging, we know those from scars. You're telling me it works on hyperpigmentation too? Yes, absolutely. Retinoids are f***ing amazing. They are made naturally by our skin and actually in our eyes quite a bit. And specifically, retinoic acid binds to receptors in our skin that enhance and increase cellular turnover. It actually makes the skin produce more skin cells more quickly and actually thickens them a little bit, which is why you get this retinoid glow, this nice plumping to the skin. And yes, it helps with acne, fine lines, anti-aging, scars, and yes, hyperpigmentation. Again, if you want the prescription form, there are plenty of retailers online. There's Apostrophe, there's Muesli, there's Dermatica, like you name it, there's Curology, go for it. But do remember that hyperpigmentation prone skin is often easily offended skin. So you don't wanna go ham with like 2% tretinoin and accidentally cause more issues for yourself in the long run. Because there are people who are Fitzpatrick four or five, even six that are very sensitive. And when using a harsh retinoid can actually make the problem worse if they don't you know, introduce that into their routine appropriately. If you're looking for the best non-prescription retinoid option, this is going to be it. This is amazing. This is the Super Retinol from Beauty Pie, and this actually contains retinol and vitamin C. Now, a lot of people like to scream online about how this is a big no-no. And while it's true, retinol works better at a pH of around 5.5, and vitamin C works better at a low pH, as long as you're not irritated by these, you actually can use them together. And as long as you find a company with cosmetic chemists and dermatologists and experts that formulate something that is actually stabilized, so these two things in the environments they're put in, don't cancel each other out. They can actually be a total powerhouse. And this is the super retinol. Again, it is the vitamin C and a retinol. So with an O, this is a lower level and less potent version of a retinoid. Whereas this stuff, the Retin-A, this stuff is bioavailable and potent. This retinol has to turn itself into different things in order to turn itself into this retinoid, which it eventually does. But because this has the anti-hyperpigmentation retinoid as well as vitamin C, this is such an excellent option if you want something that is not prescription. I have absolutely fallen in love with this. This has been a part of my routine earlier this year, especially in the mornings. And look at this, it's just such a nice pasty cream. This sounds really weird, but like, pea paste. Have you ever had like mashed peas? Imagine, imagine, imagine mashed peas.
peas, but mixed with silk. If you could have like silk peas with like orange and vitamin A, that's what this is. I don't know if that analogy made any sense, but it does to me because when I put this on my skin, my skin soaks it right up. Now, please keep in mind, you should not be using all three of these at the same time. That is a lot for your skin. I would say just choose one if you're going prescription, and if not, then yeah, maybe these two could work together. But one other option that I think is important to recommend is hydroquinone. Hydroquinone is super potent. It actually decreases the amount of melanocytes that your skin has and that are present. Basically, these cells, these sites that create pigment, it says, nah, -uh, bye bye. And it says, you gotta get out. And it does that very efficiently. Now, the problems with hydroquinone are that you can no longer get it over the counter. You have to get it prescription only. And it's because you can have rebound hyperpigmentation if you use too much of it and at the wrong amounts and at the wrong times. There are some people that go ham. And because this is such a loved, coveted, and highly sought after ingredient, there are a lot of places, especially in other countries, that have like bootleg hydroquinone that's actually, you know, laced with mercury, which is very dangerous for the skin. So um, lesson from your acne big sister, do not buy bootleg hydroquinone. Don't be putting mercury on your face. And if you're getting hydroquinone, make sure that you're getting it at a low amount, under 2% if you can find it over the counter, or preferably from a dermatologist. Now, again, in America, it used to be available over the the counter under 2%, it no longer is. However, I found this. This is MD Acne. This is the medicated dark spot remover. And because the makers of MD Acne are, I think, based in San Francisco, but they're also from Israel, somehow they made this work. And yes, using MD Acne, you can get this hydroquinone without a prescription, which is fucking amazing as long as you are responsible with it. This hydroquinone is at 2%, so it is at that amount that is under what used to be over the counter. And if you don't have insurance, if you can't see a derm, if you can't get a prescription for it, this is definitely amazing. It is inexpensive and MD Acne is like one of these AI scanners that scans your face and then picks products and actually custom formulates them for you. But if you can get the medicated dark spot remover, it not only has the hydroquinone, it also has vitamin C, it has green tea in here, it does have licorice, which we spoke about, and it also has other ingredients that help with hyperpigmentation. And I have to say, this packs a punch. And if you are looking for something good at night, you need to make sure that you're wearing some sunscreen during the day and you don't want to overdo it, you're getting a lot of product, this is some bang for your buck. And if you're using this, this is a really good night moisturizer. I don't feel like you need something else, but if you are someone who likes to leave it thick, let me recommend a night cream that does not interfere with these other ingredients and that is safe for both acne prone as well as hyperpigmentation prone skin, and it is this. This is the Pacifica Vegan Ceramide Barrier Cream, and holy shit, this might be one of my favorite products of all 2020 or even of all time. It is fragrance free, which we've never seen from Pacifica. It is vegan, it has ceramides, it is skin support. It literally has beautiful little butterflies on a purple package for $16. This is amazing. There's nothing in here directly that's going to fight hyperpigmentation, but if you're looking for a nice thick cream that just absorbs into skin and provides barrier support, you could use this to seal in any of these puppies and have the time of your life. Your skin will wake up like you just danced on a thousand cotton candy clouds over the land of Narnia. And again, do you absolutely need it in this routine? No, but I know someone's going to say, hey, I want like a thick moisturizer. This doesn't cut it for me. So here you go. Purple butterfly magic. Throw this on top and thank me later. Hyperpigmentation is rough, but some of these ingredients are tougher. Again, if there's one thing you take away from this, it needs to be the sunscreen. And if there is a second thing, if it's generalized hyperpigmentation, one of these vitamin C serums, absolutely. But if it's acne spots hyperpigmentation left over from blemishes, it's gonna be these pimple patches with a little micro darts. Do you remember that hyperpigmentation is literally your skin protecting you? Your skin creates this pigmentation as a response to trauma, whether it's from the sun or a wound or a pimple or something else. So although it can be frustrating aesthetically, remember to appreciate your skin and your amazing biology for doing what it do for you. Again, a huge thanks to Zitsticka for supporting this content and allowing us to speak freely about what we believe in, what we love, and the science behind these things. It's thanks to vegan, cruelty-free partners that actually back up what they say with ingredients and research that we can create this content, as well as doing giveaways on things like the Facebooks and the Discords and the Patreons and the Amazons for you. I've left all of the links to these down below, and if you build yourself a hyperpigmentation routine, make sure that you tag me on Instagram so that I can like and maybe Insta stock all of your photos. Remember to stay hydrated, reapply that SPF, and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.